Siccome non posso fare a meno di registrare ragazzi perché visto che sono a casa e non ho impegni ovviamente la cosa importante per me è fare il video del giorno vi prego di non fare caso ad eventuali rumori che sentirete durante questo video che sembra restare tipo in miniera accanto ai minatori che stanno lì a cercare il carbone lasciamo perdere, questa è la mia solita fortuna perché non potevano fare i lavori durante un'altra ora del giorno ovviamente no, ci mettiamo quando giocherina deve reggere Distrarre! E prima che qualcuno di voi lo chieda, Life is Strange 2, episodio 2, esce oggi, sì ragazzi, ma esce al pomeriggio, per cui ovviamente il video sull'episodio 2 arriverà domani. E what a tutti Shurma e benvenuti da Giocherina in questo nuovissimo episodio su The Walking Dead Final Season andremo a continuare l'episodio 3 che si intitola Giocattoli Rotti dopo che la volta scorsa ragazzi vi avevo espresso il mio estremo disappunto riguardo AJ che comincia a starmi altamente sulle palle lo ripeto eravamo arrivati ragazzi al punto di eh, dover festeggiare tra virgolette assieme agli altri ragazzi della scuola per cui non perdiamo più tempo e andiamo a continuare già so che questi rumori mi renderanno nervosa per tutta la durata del video <ride> che meraviglia non è che hanno iniziato tipo un minuto fa eh. sono almeno 20 minuti che stanno lì ragazzi looks like things are coming together yeah. we still need to figure out lighting music and something to write on that banner If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? God no! Allora, scegli le decorazioni per la festa. Vediamo un po', scegli il uh, disegno di AJ, direi. For some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. Riportiamogli a casa. Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. Scegli okay. borsa di mattoni. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. Sì, direi viola ovviamente che è uno dei miei colori preferiti. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Hmm, well... Purple was my dad's favorite color. Oh. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. I uh, see. That describes us exactly not at all. I'll make it happen. Ok, questo è anche fatto. Scegli i giradischi. Vediamo un po' cosa abbiamo a disposizione. Eh, uh, io direi... Dai, un po' di musica country. Um, maybe something country? That's my favorite. Oh. We are all very surprised. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Resta qui, piccolo psicopatico. Vi raggiungo più tardi. Andiamo a vedere cosa vuole Willy. Hey Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. Epa. Uh, potremmo morire tutti. Right, you know? Minchia. I don't wanna uh, discourage you, but we're gonna be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. Ok, everybody, get ready to boogie. Quanto possiamo essere sicuri che funzionerà davvero bene? I'm sorry for before. But how he treated Ten. 
I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Sa anche sorridere il bambino quando vuole. Oh. Che gli regali? Wow, this looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Ancora? Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. Va bene. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Perché? Something cool. I mean. Sì, assolutamente, dai. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you were going to be one. Hell yeah! Let's name this fucker. E che non è la minima idea, sinceramente. Boh. I got an idea for a name. Mmm. Spill it. AJ. Sì, vabbè. Just. Pure megalomane adesso. Fine. Ma non chiamate AJ, mamma. Sì, vabbè. Poi che fantasia. Cos'è? Ok, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Ok. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. Sei sicuro di volerlo, di volerlo sapere? Okay, how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? Mm. I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really ah. are. <laughs> Bene. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone okay. who this will be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Ruby era abbastanza nervosetta, eh? Lewis non credo. Siete tutti voi nemmeno, Marlon non l'abbiamo potuto conoscere così a fondo. Proviamo a dire Ruby, però boh. You know what, Ruby? I bet you're reading your own file. <laughs> wow. Azzeccato, wow. <laughs> It's the red hair. Dead <laughs> no. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she mm. was all that little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. Mm. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. Madonna. Oh, <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. <laughs> you guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. <laughs> <laughs> Masturbation. <gasps> Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever ever wanted to know that. Ma che cavolo? What does that mean? Oh merda, no. Ah, uh, don't you dare. The <sighs> die ten. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? Oh, what all kind of different music? Metti un disco jazz, There's va. A lot of them. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. Che c'è adesso? I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Yeah. Remember that Justin guy? 
and Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Madre mía, cuánta gente era. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Madonna. Eh, sono parecchie persone. Whose is it? Violet's. Ah. Oh. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. A sto punto direi di sì, scusa, solo se vuoi parlarne. I was hoping you'd tell me. Siamo tutti curiosi, no? So my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted when I wanted it. Except for one thing. Singing lessons. God. I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. <laughs> I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So... <sighs> I broke into my dad's credit card account and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know, those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. Che agghiacciante ragazzi, eh. Cioè anche solo per pensarla una cosa del genere. The week after. Eh, mi dispiace. I can see by your face you regret it. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still. None of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid? When all of us used to get scared. Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words. But... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. Pensare che c'è, doveva essere una festa allegra. Sì! Alla fine abbiamo finito per rattristarci tutti quanti. This is for you, Minnie.
Scusate raga se in certi momenti sto in totale silenzio ma penso che sia la cosa migliore da fare, cioè certi momenti vanno goduti nella loro interezza e comunque non so se avete notato che quando Ruby voleva leggere il fascicolo di Violet è intervenuto Luis per far sì che non venisse letto, questa cosa mi fa salire un po' un dubbio, non è che lui sa cosa ha fatto e non vuole che si sappia. Hey, sweet pea. Oui? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. You were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. A me non sembrava. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Eh? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends. And getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. But what if I can't? I'm so scared for my friends, Lee. Scared that I'll... I'll let them down. It's normal to be scared. Hell, it'd be strange if you weren't. But you can't let it get to you. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again, when you've gotten them out, okay? Out, and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. <sighs> I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. 
I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, no, but knowing what it takes to survive now. I really don't know. The world AJ was born into is awful. It's really awful now, Lee. And I just don't know if I'm teaching him right. I can't think of anyone who could do it better. Moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Clint, wake up. It's time to go. Fuck. We got a long walk. Dove ho avuto il cazzo tasto? Ovviamente, maledetti. Voi sapete benissimo ragazzi che questo argomento a me mi tocca troppo perché la prima stagione secondo me è stata la migliore e mi è rimasta proprio nel cuore. doing this only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves mm. now we just need your walker friend to... he's here good lord ah. <laughs> hello guys he's <laughs> my friend mm. he's uh so cool <laughs> you get the skin like that uh, oh I um Clementine uh, can I try it on? Willie, really, yeah, that's not good. Willie, quiet. Someone might hear you. Loud is bad. Mm. I'm not even being that loud. Shh. Sorry. I'll oh. be quiet. <laughs> oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? I'll do this Good shit. idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Dan, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Eccoli qua, ci serviranno da copertura, ragazzi. Your friends are different. Open-minded, mm. accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. Potrebbero It's diventare just tuoi amici. Being welcomed. It's strange. Mm. You know, they could be your friends too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before. But now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But... It does sound nice. Let me think about Bravo, it. Pensaci. I want 
wanted to show you something. Okay. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. Okay. Didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. Non è da te. Honestly, I don't even remember his name. That's... That's kind of hard to believe. Doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore. But it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. And no one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. <sighs> it broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. Non diventerà un assassino. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. Beh, c'ha ragione. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. Ti cambia dentro. Until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. È una cosa che ti cambia dentro. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ten, take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Mm -hmm. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. È arrivato il momento allora. See you all on the other side. Madonna. I'll cut it open. Chissà come andrà, raga. Anche qualsiasi cosa c'è. Cioè, può cambiare il corso degli eventi, capite? Lewis told me about Minnie. That Sophie died and Minnie is one of them now. Just. If you see her out there, tell her, tell her I forgive her, please. I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Other people's lives are depending on us. Depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? What if... What if I can't? I don't know. I can't carry that the You're rest of my life. Did. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Lewis. I mean it. Just... Believe me until you believe yourself, okay? All right. Though I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. <sighs> okay.
Okay, I'll try. What if I just get us caught too? No. All it would take is one little screw up, and I'd screw up all the time. Uh, all right, come on, Lewis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. <laughs> right here. Bacha. <laughs> I feel more focused or less. <laughs> Die, so... <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. You'll learn when you're older. Go look in another direction. It's ready. Oh. Oh. We're not doing what I think we are. That depends. Uh. What do you think we're doing? Oh, Just God. You, we are. It'll help us blend in with the walkers. Eh, usa viscere che dobbiamo fare? Non abbiamo altra scelta. Purtroppo. Che asco. There. <laughs> Think I'm ready. Uh no, you're not. Sulla faccia anche no. Ah, poverino. Dai. There. Uh. You know, Walker blood is one of the hardest stains. To <laughs> you owe me some new clothes. Dai, poi ne parliamo, dai. Purtroppo è necessario. We're doing it. Ok ragazzi, allora, mi ha appena salvato la partita. È giunto il momento della verità. È stato un episodio estremamente significativo, credo, perché ci hanno fatto vedere quanto la figura di Lee sia sempre e costantemente presente comunque nel cuore e nella mente di Clementine e mi ha fatto molto piacere perché sapete benissimo che Lee è un personaggio che ha significato tantissimo per me e vedremo ragazzi cosa succederà finalmente durante l'assalto la prossima volta. Questo video termina qui, grazie a tutti, un bacione, obdoscia a tutti ragazzi, ciao! Vi ricordo ragazzi che se volete costanti aggiornamenti sul canale potete trovare tutti i link dei miei social in descrizione e anche il link per farmi delle donazioni. Ciao!